Excuse me? There's some guy out here giving me the creeps. My typewriter? What? Wait a second, what's happening? Wait a second, they trashed my place. Someone broke in. They what? They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker. No, I don't think he has any idea. Anything I should know about the cabin at the top of this hill? Can I open it? Oh. Thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. Oh. Hello everyone. Welcome and welcome back to our third session of Firewatch. I was on the trail to reach those campers. I can still see their camp smoke. I need to go there. Tell them that how dangerous that is. Just how... so you know, I didn't mean to overstep my bounds earlier when you brought up your wife. Hmm. Yeah. I know you didn't. You were just making conversation. I appreciate it. So, tell me about her, if you want. Oh. Um. She's a college professor. She's a PhD in biology, evolution, and stuff. Ooh, evolution. That's a risque subject in these parts. Man, she sounds sexy. She sure was. Where does she teach? Yale. Yale? Yep. The Yale. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shit, Henry. She flew back and forth. I hated it. Yeah, I would too. Yeah. Anyway, that's her. That's her. Anything about her sickness? Anything about why you came here? Really? Come on. Hey, uh, Delilah? What do you got? You found him? Uh, no, not yet. Why would there be a fence out here? Uh, because sometimes hikers go ass over tea kettle when on a trail. So the Forest Service would put up a big chain link fence? A chain link fence? Yeah. It looks like it surrounds a huge area. Huh. That's weird. What do you mean weird? You didn't know that? What do you think they're keeping in? What do they not want to have get out of there? Oh. Jeez, so many things. Should I just stop you now? Maybe loads of hedgehogs. Okay. Thousands even. Full percentage points of the Come on. hedgehog population. Uh-huh. The New Zealand government is, is up in arms. Where are all the hedgehogs? Well, folks are hiding them all in Wyoming. That's where they are. Who would do that and why? <laughs> that is the real mystery. Really glad I kept you in the loop. Thanks for all of the high quality information. Indeed. Okay, okay. I'll ask what's up if I talk to someone in the next few days who I think might know. Yeah, it's, that sounded like bullshit. I mean, you've been here. You didn't know about this fence? Come on. Why don't I just believe it? Why? Anyway, let's go. Let's go and find those girls. The disturbing nature! Right? Where am I? Wow. Those flowers. Perfect. Am I in the right track? Let's see it again. Ah, no, the fence, indeed. So, I am, I am. This way. It burned tree. Mmm. Mmm. See, the forest still trying to recover from a probably little uh, fire, forest fire, I should say. Light rope. That's where I've been, I guess. I love it here. Beautiful, beautiful. Sound of the wind, rustling of the leaves. Everything is perfect about this place. Ah. You know, if it 
makes you feel any better, you're a member of a diverse club of lookouts that have come to the thoroughfare after a breakup. There was Vernon, whose wife got put away for running cocaine. Becca, who was widowed after her husband, a jockey, was trampled by his horse. And Sharon, whose boyfriend had his own boyfriend. Maybe you boned the neighbor. Maybe she boned the neighbor. Maybe you both oh, did. I don't, don't judge. And if you ever want to talk breakups, I'm your gal. Uh... We didn't break up. We didn't choose to break up. She yeah. got sick. I... I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, sure. Mm-hmm. What I want to believe as well. But it just feels... I don't know, I just feel a little guilty escaping from all of that. I don't know. I can always climb up, I guess. Let's move. And I think I saw that stranger around here somewhere. Let's climb down. Uh huh. You. Wow, that was a long climb. Oh. Wow, I'm on top of a natural bridge out here. Yeah, really? that looks is perfect. A complete arch? Uh, no, I guess the bridge is out here. Still, I think I could jump this gap Again? across the canyon. Wow, you're a regular evil Knievel. Oh yeah, you should see the jumpsuit I'm wearing. Evil Knievel, that motorbiker <laughs> from the 70s, I guess, 80s. Uh, let's see. I think I did it. Yeah. Climbing. Um, some physical extortion. It will probably be terapeutic. I guess. Am I still climbing? How about here? Um, is this because of the wind? These trees are toppled down, but why? And see these as well. Wow. Why is that? Is this because of the wind? I don't know. I can't see the roots though. I mean someone something huge crash them. I see wow, this is a Leering, I suppose. It doesn't wheel. Campfire smoke is over there. Wow. Okay. Why not? Let's go. Uh-huh, it's a long drop. Do I want that? Because it's blocked. Shit. I need some tools to clear up these blocked trails. I want to come back. Here, okay. Let's make that jump. Yeah. That means I won't be able to climb back, I guess. Right? Can I? No, I can't. Can't clear it. God damn it. Where am I going? Haven't I been to this cache before? 
Did I? Yeah. We went to here before. Let's see. That little smoke is still over there. How about that medicine wheel? Maybe I should go and check that as well. Where is that? Uh-huh. I could take a left. Around here somewhere. Okay. That was the river that I caught those uh, teenagers, those kids skin of dipping. Mm-hmm. What does she have? Uh, she's got Alzheimer's, like um, dementia. Whoa. How old was she? Is she? She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's 43. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. What was it like when you guys found out? Uh, we were scared course. shitless. We went straight to the doctor after her first spell or whatever. They diagnosed her and we were both just very scared. Can't really tell when... Julia is scared. She just gets quiet. She was very quiet. Feels. Wow, there's an old, um, I think it's called a medicine wheel out here? Yeah, it was made by Crow American Indians hundreds of years ago. There are lots of small ones. Um, have you ever been to Medicine Wheel Monument over in the Bighorns? I sure haven't. Well, it's worth a three-hour detour on the way home in August. Uh, neat. I'll keep it in mind. Hmm. Hey, I'm at the medicine wheel, and I can't see the smoke anymore. Where am I headed again? I am... Towards Five Mile Creek. It's in the southwest quadrant of your map. I am actually seeing the smoke. <laughs> anyway, uh, how about a picture? It's medicine wheel. Maybe. I don't. Uh huh. Okay, sure. This place looks beautiful, though. Beautiful. It does. Perfect. So, no. how'd you meet? Hmm. Met in a bar. Hmm. The birthplace of modern romance. I walked over and asked her what her major was because I thought she was a student, not a prof. Smooth. That's me. I did make the first move, though. Oh, you were brave. <laughs> I was drunk. Uh huh. Hey, there's a tree out here that's been ripped to hell. And? Don't you think that's, you know, like, uh, disconcerting? Henry, there are 500 pound grizzly bears out here. They sharpen their claws on trees. Oh. oh. Grizzlies in Colorado. People killed them a long time ago. Well, in the thoroughfare, they hunt people, they kill people, they bury their bodies, and then come back weeks later to eat them because they prefer rotten meat. <laughs> people just disappear. Don't you think that's disconcerting? No, Henry. That's, that's nature. Life. Yeah. Christ. That's lady. life. Henry, you idiot. You're a city boy. I'm back at the shale slide. You know, the one that nearly killed me yesterday. You ready to give it another shot? <sighs> Do I seriously have to? To get down to Five Mile Creek? Yeah. I need to. So. It's quite a ways downhill from here. Uh. Come on, Henry. You're a big boy. Yeah. 
the disconcerting part about all of this is that you cannot actually comply to to the um mechanisms of nature Henry. you don't understand shit okay this way i suppose Aha, uh -huh. that was the that was the rope hook we couldn't use because yeah, you know, rope got cut in half. Let's do this. Wish I could be able to look back behind me while climbing down. So that's it. We're here. Uh huh. Let's go. Let's go and find that campfire. I don't want to miss anything. That's why I'm just looking left and right. Probably Henry wouldn't do that. Perfect. Look at this place. Uh huh. There's another path down there. I guess. What are you gonna do when the fire season wraps up? Are you gonna go be with her? Just go back to Boulder? You should go be with her. That's my opinion. Ah, <sighs> sorry for the umpteenth time. Anyway, call me when you find the girls or anything. Mm -hmm. Or call me whenever you want. Thank you, Delilah. I'm going I'll home. probably just head back to Boulder and I don't know. I'll figure out what's next. You know, maybe I I'll should. move. <laughs> no. You should go see her. Yes, you love her. If she remembers me. I know I don't know anything about your situation, but I think you should go or you'll regret it. She'd love to see you. I think you should go. Thank you, Delilah. Where was the where was the cash? Hello? Did I miss it? Oh. Where is it? Isn't it supposed to be here? Got it. Missing person? Let's first copy that info. Let's sync. Is that missing person there? Hmm. Mitch Michaels. Age 31. Identify facial. Distinctive facial hair. Mitch Michaels was last seen around Jones Lake on July 3rd, 81. Mm hmm. Last known location, Mitch was seen around Jonas Lake on the morning of my third. He has a blue and white Ford. I've seen contact. Okay. okay. Sure. Let's keep it. You're in their country. Yeah, we are. Okay. Another pine cone. Nothing else here, right? Okay. Let's go. This place looks perfect. Perfect. Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's... Uh, yeah. Lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Perfect. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? Wow. I actually didn't know that. I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Nice. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Incredible. Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. Hopefully. What about around here? Anything? 
love exploring. Yeah, it just feels sometimes lonely out here, but look at that. Look at that. Nice. This game is so immersive, even though its graphics are not maybe too realistic. Like, I mean, look at those um, grass textures. Look at those leaves. Yeah. However, it's it just captures that feeling of a forest or an aspen wood. Perfectly, in my opinion. That was the creek that she was talking about. The... Hmm. Sure. Yeah, the one thing that I would probably complain about this game is, as I said earlier, there had to be more items that we could interact with. Let's say, for example, some tracks, animal tracks around here, who were around this creek to get some water and whatnot, right? Like for example, those bear clothes that we mentioned earlier. More of those things, like some collectible herbs maybe, or some birds that we can bird watch. That will be that will be um, a little more immersive in my opinion. But yeah, I can't complain. Aha, uh -huh. music cues in. Nice, look at this place. Wow. Nice. This is a good screenshot, I'm telling you. Perfect. Perfect. This is thumbnail material. Wow. Ooh. Look at the sun. Look at those rays. Perfect. to protect this perfectness I should go and talk to those kids and warn them about those campfires is there a path going up there? uh no let's go there's a smoke perfect music perfect soundtrack Love it. Look at this. So immersive. There's birds. Can I cross the creek? I can. Wow. A waterfall. It's a really nice waterfall down here. Nice. Even those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. Those are their loads? Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep uh -huh. looking around. And it's just floating in the air. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that, but <laughs> come on. Come on, game. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> That waterfall, though, um, hmm. And then I guess the game is trying to connect us to our backstory as well. Hopefully, they manage to do that. 
because there's there's a good connection of Henry and his wife. Uh huh. This was the campfire. Okay. I see I'm here. Campsite, and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? That seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Track them down, and don't let them see you. What a job this is. Wait a second. What is that? I found my sheets. So they did break into your tower. Looks like. Really? These girls have a full case of beer left here. A full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. That is some dedication. Teen magazines? Well, I found some dangerous hunks. <laughs> what on earth are you... It's the name of a magazine for girls. <laughs> it's on the ground here at their camp. Wow. What else? I have entered the teen zone. Oh, really? And where's that? It's another one of those magazines. <laughs> okay. I'll find them. I can't get enough of this place. Your tent looks like it's been through the shredder, which would explain that scrap I found. What could have done that? Um, like is a, it like no? a bear or, um, I don't know, it sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's off its rocker. Whatever did it, did not hold back. You've got that camera, right? It might be a good idea to get a few snaps, just in case. Mm. Yeah, good thinking. Then maybe the campfire in the background. Uh, how about this sleeping bag? And then there's a note no, over maybe there. You should take one of their sleeping bags as payback. At this stage, take whatever you want. Really? Some of their clothes are all torn up. Uh, that's not good. Yeah, indeed. It's not good. Okay, concentrate here. Stop stop bitching about those kids camping around here and then concentrate. What's going on? Dear Psycho, hope you're fucking happy. We're leaving and we're going to find the police or whatever and tell them about how you creeped on us in the lake and then came and destroyed our campsite and all of our stuff. Oh, and stealing panties is gross out. You're probably a mental fucking axe murderer and are so going to jail. Now it was her being a jerk over some fireworks. Hmm. Let's hold that. And I should report oh, it. Gone for sure. How can you tell? Well, the girls left oh. someone, me, I guess, a note. Well, what's it say? Well call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, uh, did you? What do you mean, did you? Did you see me attack them? Look, I didn't do anything to them, but it looks like someone did. it out for them. Then why do they think it's you? Fuck, I don't know. Uh -huh. Hey, I don't. I believe you. Come on, Henry. Really? All right. All right, it's just, it's weird what happened out here. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know, but they're gone. There's no way to call the cops. They're not coming back, and we can get to work. No. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. No, what do you mean? Shouldn't we be worried about those kids? That was the end of day... No, that was the end of day two, and... We're back to day three. Okay, that was weird. That was weird. I need to find some boards. Downstairs. Hey, Henry? Yeah? Yeah. Um, what do you look like? Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial.
Well, I get confused for Burt Reynolds all the time. Oh, is that so? Women say that we have a similar musk. Uh-huh. <laughs> hey, you asked. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my god, you are the whitest man. <laughs> need a spotting scope for that and if not shorts then what do you normally like to wear mm. clothes i don't really think about it oh come on i got a sweatshirt i like good jacket i got at the buckle barn Ooh, i love the buckle barn just one of those brown ones you know i do now tell me about your face i'm looking at you across the bar what do i see uh <laughs> not easy a uh, pretty thick beard oh have you always had a beard for a while yeah all right perfect i want to know about your eyes what Not are you here. talking about I'm drawing you i need to know you're drawing you're me is, is that okay uh <laughs> don't don't answer i'm gonna do it regardless what your eyes tell me what is going on they're, uh, they're steely. Cold, <laughs> hard stare. Hmm. Like a Siberian husky. Probably. Uh, sure. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. Another Get board? What you need. Absolutely. That was the house. Generator is still working. And where's my ball? Where's my baseball? Wait a second. Someone stole my baseball? Really? Why would you do that? Why? Okay. Unload it up. Uh-huh. Now we're done. I'm still wearing my ring. Wedding ring. I got that window all patched up. So what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. Mm-hmm. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Ooh. Uh, ball ring. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and uh, I'll give it to you. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. Wait a second, I saw something there. Of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's not really that comfy. I mean, it's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. Aww. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. Day nine? Wow. Six days just gone by, doing nothing. Okay. Hello, Henry. Having a nice afternoon? I think I am. Yeah, great. Not too bad. Look at the scene. That's nice. Look, um, I called with bad news. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have oh, seen them. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Sure. You should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. Look, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Mm. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? Um. 
Yeah, but it's mentioning. Okay, I need to. I need to know about my. I, I think it's worth mentioning something. Yeah, I'll. Uh, I'll, I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Me really? neither. <clears throat> All right, okay, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Those are six days. Got by. Hmm. Henry. Henry, wake up. Oh, what? What time is it? It's in the Get middle of bed and pick up the radio. Really? What's going on? What do you want? What? You're a big dumb idiot. Oh, baby, you sound tired. Hmm, I am. Oh no. Are Shining nice wipes. Time? Shining wipes. Henry? Are you having a nice time? I am. Are you? Everything? Good there, Jules. What? Oh, sorry, Henry. Yeah, I'm good. Oh God. Oh, that's good. Well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. Um. Okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm-hmm. Sure. Bye, baby. Um, good night. Wait a second, was that real or not? That is the real question. And there's no way for us to know that. Wow. Okay. What am I doing here now? I know to retrieve is it too much supplies. Of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. Oh. You are out hiking, <clears throat> degree heat, and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there, and I don't want to have to call in for more. Okay, okay. Loads of good stuff, though. Beans, prunes, Whatever. Jerky. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's like really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. <laughs> well, maybe we should also smoke or eat marijuana so, in order to survive like, here. Two weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night. You were sleeping. What? Yes, and all I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just. Oh, that was so sweet. No. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation and I'd just be spoiling it. Ouch. I hope you're doing okay, you know, when it comes to her. Ouch, that was terrible. Uh, I shouldn't be out here. Yeah. Yes, Feeling you guilt. Should. No, I just ran away from my problems. Indeed. No, you didn't. We really? all fuck up. So, a couple of months before I took this job, I <laughs> I was with this guy, mm. Javier. Ugh, he's incredible, caring, sexy as hell. He was a driller down in Casper. We dated for almost five years. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Waltz was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. <sighs> then, um, Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette. And... Oh. For some reason... I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. Oh. I came out here, I lied, and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. I've just lied about it for over ten years. And, uh, for some reason, I 
wanted you to know. Wow, really? Uh, I figured you've told me so much about you. So, you know, there's something about me. We both fucked up. Mm, but I think I know how to fix it. But you don't let me. I mean, I know I have to go back. And you just tell me to not go back. Uh, pull for other lookout. Portal. Okay, let's pick ours. All right, I got everything I need out of here. Mm -hmm. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? Day 64. It's been two months. Two months already. Wow. You've got a front row seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Oh no. Yeah, it's really going. Oh no. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. Oh, and shit. she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? Hmm. What about so Delilah? No ideas, huh? Uh Delilah's a nice name. <laughs> For the fire. <laughs> no, you big dummy. <laughs> I was kidding. Am I? Mm, no, you were not. You're sweet, but we can't call it the Delilah fire. Okay, what then? Mm, how about my middle name, June? June? The June fire. Even though it's July. <laughs> I like it. Oh, it's the June fire now. So there's this creek down the hill. And, um, you know what my favorite thing to do is? What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. You'd like it there. Hmm. I'm sure I would. Sounds pretty great. It is. Wait a second. Uh, I am. No, I'm not. You should. Let me know when you are. I am. Okay, I'm looking at it again. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just get lost. Mm. Yeah. I guess, but forest is burning, oh, Delilah. Come on. Why do you say that? Because I do. I'm not crazy. I mean, we've had such a good time, right? We had? What do you mean, we had? Yeah, I think so. I don't talk really? to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. Whoa, okay. And I know you're not really available, but... I want you to know... Well, no? Maybe it'd be nice to get together at the end of the summer. Um, Lila, don't do that. To plan or even talk about it. I'm, I'm just having the thought. I wish I was over there. Okay. Really? I wish you were too. Really? We could sit outside. We could talk. Without these radios, we could, um, you know. You know? Oh no. Where is this? Where's this going? Come on. Um. Yeah, let's push it. What? What could we do? Well, let me tell you. Okay. Ah, this is getting weird. This is getting weird. You're going fishing without a license? It's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. Well, I won't tell anyone you're a poacher. 
That reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem bear they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Hello, I need to reply. Uh, does problem actually mean murderer? Like how Charles Manson is a problem cult leader? <laughs> oh, come on. You just have to look for tracks. That's it. Where is it? Yeah, well, I've seen what they can do to a tree, and trees aren't even food. Thank you, Henry. Yeah, Where's yeah, Lakeside? Yeah. What was the lake? Yeah. Oh god. Oh god. Why do I need to do that though? I don't know what about bears. I have no idea about bears. It's the campsite. Those missing girls. What happened to them? Any news about them? I think that was me. second what is that someone left their clipboard out here really huh well, it could have been one of the fish and game folks see if there's a name or a credential or something I can call it in what the, uh it's holy shit what is this what's going on you didn't actually find a bear did you nope Someone has written down what we said to each other, have been saying. What? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. What? No way. It was like a Wait, therapy on, experiment. Henry, I'm worried. Wait a second. Wait a second. You didn't find and eat any mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, but also, you know, devastating. Regardless, just let me know, okay, Buckaroo? What up? Oh, God. I don't know why I just called you that. What up? Almost a canyon. And here. Uh-huh. I found a walkie-talkie out here, too. Really? Uh, okay. It's going shit house. We'll get it if you haven't already, and then we'll figure out whose it is. We'll do. Okay. <laughs> what is going on? Henry, I, holy hell, I just, I got hit in the head, punched or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with, what, transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone, along with a radio of theirs. Oh. Somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. <sighs> I don't, what the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I, 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 I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Um, uh, Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's, it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's where you saw that damn fence. It's north of the lake. It, it looks okay. like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I'll, uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God. Damn it, my head. Wow. Are you, are you sure you saw what what you saw, Henry? Maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you. No, what I saw. This just oh, this just seems like a like a misunderstanding or something. Look, I know what I saw. Hey, it was our words with initials for our names, H and D, clear as day. And you've been feeling okay? I feel fine. 
Okay, I'm sorry. I, I believe you, but that conversation was from two weeks ago. I know they were. So what's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our, our whole summer. Someone is out here with the walkie-talkie taking talking notes about. and talking to God knows who. What do you think is going on behind that fence? Apparently a lot of following you around taking notes, which is unfucking believable, Henry. Yeah, you're telling me. All right, I I'm on my way to Wapiti Meadow. I'll let you know what I find. Okay. Oh God. There there's got to be a reasonable explanation. Also, I'm gonna call around and see if anyone's had anything weird happen to them or seemed spooked. Uh, I don't want to make this bigger than it is yet, you know? Yeah, understood. Yeah, okay. Hike safe. Wow, that was weird. That was actually weird. That was actually weird. Okay. Let's continue there then. But probably after this break we will do this in our next session.